Today we are talking all about meal plans, how I really stick to a tight budget for our family of four. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very requested video. I'm sharing with you how I do my meal plan for an entire month. So I started doing this monthly meal planning last month and I have to say I loved doing it. It's a little bit tedious at the beginning, but it is so nice not to have to meal plan every single week. So I'm showing you how I do all of that today. So last month I was just kind of learning the ropes and figuring out how exactly I wanted to do it. This month I actually ended up creating my own templates to just make the process a little bit easier. I created a what's for dinner sheet. So this is actually like a weekly meal plan. So I end up doing like four of these for the entire month. And then I also came up with these inventory worksheets. So this is for my fridge, my freezer, and my pantry. And this is what is gold in this. This will help you save so much money by going through your fridge, your freezer, and your pantry before you even step foot in the grocery store or before you start scrolling on Pinterest. Figure out what you have to use up. And then I did also create just a grocery worksheet. I am gonna zoom in on these so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And then when I'm going through and doing my inventory, I always have meal ideas, so I like to jot those down as I'm going. So that is kind of what I'm working with with my actual templates and my worksheets. I will have all of this available over on my Etsy shop. I just opened it up for you guys. I just made this super cheap and affordable in case you guys do want it, or you can create your own too if you want, but this will give you a really good idea. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you exactly what I'm doing as I go through this meal planning thing. So before you start anything, you're gonna want to go through and take an inventory. So I did my freezer, my pantry, I have two sheets for that because there's a lot of stuff. And then I also do my fridge. With my fridge, I don't do like a full sheet, but I basically just go through and see what I have to use up first. I don't do all my condiments and stuff, but this is just the stuff that I have on hand that needs to get used up within the next week. Of course I did this off camera or this would have just been very boring for you guys to watch. It does take a little bit of time, but when I'm going through everything, I will highlight what I really need to get used up first. So like for me, I have pork chops I want to get used up. I have some leftover pulled pork that I threw in the freezer. I have two little pieces of salmon, lots of sausage patties, so I'm going to do some breakfast sandwiches with, with those. I have a couple different veggies. I have some chopped carrots that I had frozen that were going bad, so I wanna use those up. I have some spinach, same thing. I threw that in the freezer when it started to get close to the end of the expiration date. I have some yogurt blueberries that I kind of forgot about and I need to get used. I also have some frozen avocado. I'll just use that up in like smoothies. And then I have a couple of different types of breads to use. I have some leftovers as well as like some tater tots and some fries. So I always make sure to highlight the things that I definitely need to get used up on this meal plan. Now moving over to the pantry inventory. So as you can see, I only have a couple things here that really need to get used up. I have two bags of stuffing, so I have to figure out a way to use that up. I might just do it as side dishes or try and incorporate it into actual recipes. And then I also just wanna get these peanuts out of the pantry. They've been in there for quite a while. And then for the fridge, these are just a couple of items that I really need to get used up right away. So I'll try and put those on the first couple dinners. So I have my inventory completely done. Another thing that I should mention is that when I'm going through and taking inventory, I'm also jotting down if there's anything that I'm running low on. So I just add that right to the grocery list. So I already have a pretty big list of just like pantry staple items on here. And then as I go through and actually create my meal plan, then I will be adding ingredients to my grocery list as I go through each recipe and figure out what I actually need for it. So I did already come up with all of my meal ideas off of camera because otherwise you guys would be sitting here watching a really long video. So I'm just gonna kind of show you what I do. So the first thing that I do is I usually will go to my 
freezer ones because we are a family that eats a lot of meat. So I go and see what I have that I need to get used up first. So this is where that highlighting comes in handy, like pork chops. I know I need to get those used up this month. So I will go to my Pinterest or if I just have a recipe in mind, I will figure out what recipe I have that calls for pork chops. So for me, I just went on Pinterest, typed in pork chops, slow cooker and I came up with a recipe and I just needed a couple of extra ingredients so I will write those down on my grocery list at that point and that is how I make sure I'm using up what I have on hand first and that makes my grocery budget a lot cheaper going that route. So I basically will just go through all of my highlighted options first on all of my sheets, try and come up with ideas and then I will create a meal plan from that. It seems very obvious to do this, but I know in the past, if I don't actually take inventory, like an actual written inventory of what I have on hand, I will forget about things, things will go bad, they'll be sitting in the freezer for forever. You know, things get tucked in the back of the freezer, the back of the fridge, your pantry, and you forget about them. So by having the inventory list, I feel like this is the key to really sticking to a good grocery budget. So I will go through that inventory list and I will check off all of those highlighted items and make sure I get them used up. And then I will go to the rest of my inventory and kind of use that. And that is when I will usually have a little bit more fun. I'll go to Pinterest, I'll look some ideas up. Or if I go on YouTube and look at what's for dinner videos, a lot of times when I'm watching what's for dinner videos, I will like jot down ideas throughout the month and I'll just have them in my brain ready to go for the next time I make a meal plan. So I will usually use a lot of those ones. And I just like to have a lot of fun with this. You guys know I like to get pretty creative on my channel, but I also like to stick with very easy recipes that I will actually make because if I do a lot of difficult recipes that take a lot of time, then I will not stick to my meal plan because I'm a busy mom, I don't have time, and I'm just very busy. So I need really quick and easy recipes for my meal plan in particular. For me personally, I like to do about six meals per week. Sometimes they get swapped around, sometimes they aren't made at all and they'll just stay in the freezer. I'm a mom, life is busy, sometimes following the meal plan doesn't always happen, but it definitely does save money when you actually plan out your meals ahead of time, so that is what I typically do. So as I jot down meal ideas, I do not directly write them right onto my actual meal plan. I don't write them on here right off the bat. So what I like to do is I write them over on this sheet. This is just a sheet of meal ideas. You can just jot them down on a notebook piece of paper and that's totally fine. But the reason that I do that is I have them categorized. So I have chicken, beef, pork, fish or seafood, crock pot meals, and then other. So the reason that I do that is I like to have a really good variety of meals in our diet. So I don't wanna eat all chicken one week. So by breaking it down this way first, then after I have this list done, that is when I will go over to my actual weekly meal plans and I will write down things in the order that I want them in. So for me, most of the time I will do like two chicken recipes, one beef, one pork, and then one like other recipe. That's kind of how I try to do it so I'm not just eating the same meat every single day. So that's one little tip for you so you don't end up eating the same thing all the time. I hope this video is making sense on how I do everything. It's definitely a bit of a process to do it this way, but by really taking that inventory seriously, it saves so much money in the long run. So now that I've explained everything, I'm gonna actually go ahead and finish creating my meal plan, and then I will meet you guys back here and show you actually what we are eating this month. Of course, things change, but this is a pretty good guess at what we will be eating in the next month or so. When I am picking out recipes for my meal plan, I do try to be very mindful about the ingredients in them. So the best case is when I have almost all of the ingredients on hand and I just have to pick up a couple of things or maybe one item. But if I do have to purchase something, I make sure that it's an item that I'm actually going to use again. I really try to not get just a single ingredient that I will never use again because that's just going to be wasteful. So that's just another way that I will stretch our grocery budget a little bit farther.
So I'm finally done with my meal plan. It's actually like four hours later now. My kids are in bed, so I'm able to finish this up. But here's the first day of the month. We actually just had leftovers. So as I'm filming this, it is actually Friday. So that's just how life goes. But Friday or tonight, we had rigatoni pasta with green beans. Tomorrow, we actually have a wedding to go to. And then for Sunday, we're gonna do a buffalo chicken pizza. Now for breakfast, lunch, and for snacks, I like to keep these really simple. So on this day, I, or this week, this is what we're gonna have. So we've got pumpkin pancakes. I have some of those left to use up in the freezer eggs, leftovers, sandwiches for lunches, and then snacks. We're gonna do some veggie fries, muffins, yogurt, blueberries, which I need to get used up in the freezer, and then I'll make some hummus and veggies. So that is week number one of our meal plan. For week number two, we've got Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. My sister gave me this recipe and it looks super good. I'm gonna serve that with some green beans. Tuesday is gonna be this creamy tortellini soup with breadsticks. I saw this on the Simplified Savers channel and I thought it looked super good. Wednesday is gonna be cheesy sausage pasta with some steamed broccoli. Thursday, pepperoni pizzas with salad. I'm gonna use up those tortillas in my freezer. I'm just gonna do some little tortilla pizzas and they always turn out super good. I also have some little pepperoni sticks that I can just cut up to go with that. Friday will be a leftovers night. Saturday will be chicken burritos. Sunday is chicken and wild rice soup with some homemade bread. Breakfast here, we've got breakfast sandwiches. I got some English muffins on sale, so I'm gonna make some of those with the sausage patties in the freezer. Lunch is just gonna be a leftovers week. Snacks, I'm actually gonna be doing a Halloween video, so I'm gonna be doing some Rice Krispies, Halloween cupcakes, chocolate dip pretzels, fruit parfaits, Halloween cheese and veggie board, kind of like a charcuterie board for that. So that is that week. Monday is hamburger casserole with some air fryer asparagus. I know that's kind of a weird combination, but I need to get this asparagus used up. It's actually in my freezer right now. Tuesday will be fried chicken sandwiches. Yeah, that's definitely supposed to be fried chicken sandwiches, not kitchen. Apparently I need to get more sleep around here. Pair that with some air fryer potato wedges and a veggie. Wednesday will be cheesy potato kielbasa soup with some garlic bread. Thursday is smothered venison steaks, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Friday, air fryer butter garlic salmon with roasted potatoes and salad. I'm excited for this because I love salmon. Saturday is gonna be some crock pot lasagna with salad. This is actually a meatless meal, which is really nice. And then Sunday will be leftovers. And down here we have some egg muffins for breakfast, breakfast burritos. Again, I'm gonna try and use up some of those tortillas, pancakes, leftovers for lunch again, and then snacks. I'm gonna do some pumpkin bread, hummus and veggies, and boiled eggs. We pretty much have hummus and veggies every single week because that's just a family favorite. And then over here we have Italian chicken bake with potatoes and green beans. This is just a really easy meal that I've been making for a long time. Tuesday, beef stroganoff with some steamed broccoli. Wednesday is creamy garlic pork chops, baby carrots, and garlic bread. Thursday is cracked chicken sandwiches with salad. This is one of my all-time favorite recipes. This cracked chicken is so good. And then we have pulled pork shepherd's pie with that leftover pulled pork in my freezer. Saturday will be some spicy chicken burrito bowls. Sunday will be ham bone soup with dinner rolls. And then down here we have some crock pot cinnamon rolls. I've never made these, but they just sounded really good. And then lunch will be leftovers. Snacks will be again the veggies and hummus with just some fruit and crackers, keeping it super simple for this week. And then the last week will be some Tuscan chicken thighs with salad, venison, country fried steaks with mashed potatoes and green beans, Wednesday will be Monterey chicken spaghetti casserole with a veggie. This looked super good. I saw it on Pinterest and I had to try this one out. Then we have chicken queso tacos. I love the sounds of that one. 
Friday we're doing stuffing breaded chicken with rice and a veggie. I'm gonna use up some of that stuffing and use it as like a coating on the chicken, kind of like breadcrumbs. And then Saturday I'm gonna be doing a freezer pizzas video, so stay tuned for that one. Sunday will be just some venison stew. And then I'm keeping things really simple this week. Pancakes, waffles, leftovers, and then hummus and veggies and whatever else we have left to use up at the end of the month. So that's my entire meal plan. It ended up being like four and a half weeks worth of meals for this. All right guys, that is going to wrap up this meal planning video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. I know meal planning for an entire month at a time is kind of a lot to process. I know last month I was really overwhelmed with it, but it was so nice to not have to think about meal planning for an entire month. I just did it in one day, took the time to do it, and it was just done for the whole month. So I knew I would want to continue that this month. And it also saved us a lot of money. I spent way less last month than the previous month. And I really think that's because I'm doing the bulk of my shopping at one time. So I know when I go to do my weekly shopping, all I'm focusing on is fresh produce, eggs, milk, and bread. It's super basic, very simple, and I don't have to spend a lot of money on a week-to-week -week basis. It's also made those grocery trips super quick and easy. A lot of times they will just have my husband run into the grocery store after work, grab the couple things that we need, and then he'll come home, or I'll do a grocery pickup, swing by and pick it up. But regardless, I don't have to think about meal planning, which is super nice because I know I already have all of the ingredients for the meals I need. Like I mentioned, I will have all of the templates that I use listed down below in my description box. They're just over on Etsy. You can download them and use them to make your own meal plan, or you can go ahead and create your own. I would love to see how your guys' meal plans turn out. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, definitely let me know and I can try to make them. But that is going to be it for today's video. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care